Me and my grandfather had a little bit of a discussion, a debate, on what exactly constitutes a scam. And at first, we both had kind of differing opinions on the subject. So, this all kind of started when my mom was talking about Chanel bags. Now, I don't know if you guys can sympathize with me, but by golly, I do not understand the craze when it comes to handbags at all. I, I, I just, it doesn't really, my head doesn't wrap around the subject very well. But my mom, for some reason, loves them, especially the ones that are like five to ten thousand dollars. Those are really in the sweet spot. That really gets her going. So I was kind of t saying, "Hey, that's kind of a scam. You're buying like a little bit of leather that there's no way it's built that much better than just like a regular old handbag." But no, I mean, like I guess, yeah, it's 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 not really a scam because people buy them and then resell them all the time for more money than what they spent, even though the, the object is not actually worth that. So it's, it's artificial supply and demand pretty much is what the company does. Anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm going on a whole different tangent. Sorry. We are talking about the Willy Wonka situation today. Um, would you guys constitute that as a scam? Well, if you said no, then you need to go get an MRI of your brain because it, these people got absolutely scammed. It was $45 for them to go to an attraction that was just absolutely atrocious. Every single morsel of anything at, at the attraction was just soul-sucking. Suck, soul I wouldn't even call it an attraction. It was a, a retraction, a rejection. The whole event was organized by ChatGPT, and I'm pretty sure it was it was just one script. Like, they didn't even, they didn't edit the script. The guy said, make me a Willy Wonka attraction and some pictures, and, and boom, that, that was it. Um, he didn't go in and edit it at all. He, the, the main like poster board that to, that was supposed to be marketing material to pull people in had the most mumbo jumbo words ever. So we're going to like kind of scroll here and, you know, take a look at some of the pr promotional material and you'll see what I'm kind of, I'm talking about. So this right here is the promotional material that apparently passed the QA inspection. Um, anyways, so right here it says, Entering inter entertainment. Okay, it. God, that was so bad that I couldn't. It, it took my ability to read for a moment. Cat gat cat gacketing. What? Like the only word that comes to mind when when saying this is vomiting. Live perform performances, except for the M has like three humps. Uh, cart chi tunes. Exar surdre lollipops. A Pasa dies of sweet treats. The, okay, this is all like this is what I imagine a a if you were to give the toddler the ability to write, and you told them to talk about candy, this is how they would write. Um, and so this these are a few you know photos. Oh yeah, she does not look enthused at all. Like what what is all of this nonsense? Um, and so, yeah, this, th this actually makes it look better than what it normally does. If you scroll, if we scroll up right here, yeah, this is, the, okay, so they took a couple of AI-generated posters and plastered them on the wall. They're not even, like, they're, they're, they're not even, like, on there. They're just lying on whatever this is. Um, it, a TV that's not even on. A bouncy house. I'm surprised they even, you know, took the effort to put a bouncy house in there. Um, as you can see right here the the grand grandmother is probably consoling the granddaughter it looks like this one right here is just screaming um yeah i mean this is this is pretty much what it looks like it's I, it looks like he went to his ne nearest party city and just bought whatever they had left their overstock and yeah uh like how, what do mushrooms have to do with candy at at all like what okay this is like uh, you know, I guess, I don't know. It's, 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 it's pretty atrocious. There's just like one rogue piece of candy right here. Um, and then this is the AI, another AI generated photo. And the thing about it is I could see like a really old person looking at this and being like, wow, that looks freaking amazing. That's crazy. And not even realizing that this is just an AI generated image. Um, which I mean, it does look good. I will say, I mean, the lighting looks really good, but clearly you know, if you know what AI is, you know it's fake. And yep, here's another depressing photo. So yeah, did I also mention that it's it was $45 to it, to gain entrance to that? To uh, there are I don't know what in the crack pot this man this cr the crank pot this man was smoking, but by golly, uh, that's not even worth I wouldn't go there for free. That looks like the and then there was also 
a little monster ro roaming around the halls, just scaring children. So not only were you were, were you going there spending $45 per person to gain entry, you were also go going there to have your children panic and be scared. So not only are you subjecting your children to a soul-sucking experience, you're also going there for... Uh, this is apparently a horror attraction. This is the new netherworld. The, the kids are uh, here are probably panicking. So as you can imagine, there is a bit of an uproar. Um, they actually have... There's a video of the people who attended this gathering of uh, of such and they were kind of ridiculing the organizer of the whole event rightfully so because how did he not see this crumbling and burning uh, to the ground like $45 for this I don't understand how he thought that was going to just go go fine um and also I heard somewhere where the kids were only allowed to be given one jelly bean and a cup of lemonade what? In a chocolate factory. What? A, a chocolate factory and you're giving the kids jelly beans. At least give them like one square of a Hershey's bar. For God's sake. I mean, have some humanity. So here's the video of the parents going kind of ballistic on this dude. So where's all this Wally Wonka stuff that's supposed to be, we're, we're so supposed to be showing our children? Sorry? I've been told not to let anybody in. You've been told not to let anybody in, but he's been okay to take my money. No, it's not them. So the house of Illuminati guarantees. The house of Illuminati tells lies. No. I want your name anyway. We guarantee a full refund starting from Monday. No, if you do not receive a refund. I'm going to call the police. Because you're now in liquidation, you're no longer a company. Is that why you don't have pictures up of your stuff? No. It's actual. What in tarnation? He just said that he used artificial intelligence to generate a lot of those images. And then she says, okay, so it was fake. And then he says, no. What? Th there's nothing more fake than having AI generate an image and then using it for actual promotional material. Like that, that is, that is fake. It's not real. It's not in this realm. Like you, you can't physically touch the stuff like produced in a AI generated image it, it's just it, it it's impossible um so yeah clearly the these these poor people got scammed however i i just don't understand how they didn't see this happening when like, like the it looks off like it really does look off and especially with the spelling and stuff like you know i'm first off i'm surprised that they released that to the public using that as actual marketing material and second off i can't believe that the people didn't think hmm Enchant, enchantering, like, did they just not like read the actual material? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. But you know, what do you guys think about this? Uh, that's pretty much the whole story. It's, re it's really interesting. I, I mean, as AI keeps, you know, progressing, it's only going to get worse and worse, and things like this are going to keep on happening. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, if if you near live near a Six Flags, I believe a ticket is like sixty something dollars. So it's not even that much more to go to Six Flags than it is to go to this. And I'm not saying Six Flags is a great place, but uh, you know, like it, it's gone downhill. But m my God, it's not a complete scam like this. Anyways, yeah, guys, that that's basically about it. Let me know what you thought. See ya.